Yes, that's right. Have you seen what's happening on social media? I just had a conversation with a real estate agent in my office and she was like, you know what, Carrie, I've been making posts, but you haven't seen them. Nope. I don't see them because it is not video, 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 video. You got to start creating video. So I'm Carrie Little, the designated managing broker of Caramark Realty Group here in the Western suburbs of Illinois. And I am also the blogger on smartgirlmedia.com. And I have been in the real estate industry since 1997. And I want to give you a few tips or things you should be doing or considering doing as an agent, real estate agent, or even as an entrepreneur. So if I make a post and you're, you know, you're a real estate agent, you like what you see, you like what, what I'm training, you comment. If I am a real estate agent and I'm trying to get others to comment on my post, I need to go and comment on their post. I need to engage. So think of it like this, old school, right? For us, it might've been the eighties. We went to parties, we danced, we you know talked to our friends, we engaged with our friends pre this thing, right? So now same thing applies. Now we've known this, you gotta show up, you gotta network, but the same thing applies to social media. However, people wanna see us and they wanna hear us because video gets pushed up the feed. And if you've been on Instagram, because I've been scrolling and I'm like, only reels are showing up. And it could just be that Instagram is testing to see if we recognize it. And every, you know, every Friday, typically 9 a.m. Central Time, I go live, you know, coffee with Carrie, you join me and I teach you something, especially as a real estate agent. However, recently when I made a post, I didn't see my post in the feed. What I was seeing is I was scrolling through and not just clicking the reels icon, it was just scrolling through the general feed. And I was seeing every, I was seeing just video, 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 video. So I was talking to my agent and I'm like, you know what? I don't see your posts because you're just posting and I don't know about it. Now I can be intentional as the designated managing broker and go look for all of my agents posts. But here's a few things I recommended. Now I do recommend if you're an agent in my office that you use our intranet, which is workplace. It's Facebook's intranet or social media. So the first thing we need to do as someone on social media is you need to comment on other people's posts. You need to engage. You can't just think people are going to comment and you're on your posts when you never have a conversation. That would be like me going to an event and passing out flyers, pluggers, business cards, whatever you want to call it, and not having a conversation. It's almost like aggressive sales. If I'm just posting to post, I'm not going to build relationships. So you must comment on others' posts, tip. Go tell everybody happy birthday and don't just say happy birthday. You know, it could be happy birthday to you. I hope you enjoy your awesome day. Like say more than just happy birthday. Then use hashtags like Care, uh, Caremark Realty Group agents. Use the hashtag Caremark Realty Group. I've also noticed that one of our agents kind of dominates on our Facebook business page because all she does is always tag Caremark Realty Group and she tags the company. So whenever I see a pop-up, it's like this agent, Nikki, right? Maybe I shouldn't tell. Um, she dominates because she tags the brokerage and she uses the hashtags. So use hashtags so people know how to follow you. The other thing is, <clears throat> number three, as I just told you earlier, video. You need to start creating short videos because those will be pushed up the feed, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, let's go with TikTok and YouTube shorts. Short video, 60 seconds or less, or Pinterest, because that's what we see. And then you need to redirect people to your social media channel, channels. I don't care if it's email. I don't care if it's direct mail. I don't care if it's a post on Facebook and, I, and I'm redirecting you to my specific social media page. So for example, let me say this. So I'm, a, I'm an agent, I'm a broker owner, and I need to recruit. So I will send out direct mail pieces to real estate agents and say, check out my YouTube channel where I'm going to show you how to make 100 figures, right, in a year. So you need to make six figures, follow me. And then the other thing, you know, I let's, let's say, for example, you are a real estate agent, right, entrepreneur, and I've created this awesome video on data. Or I'm going to say every month on Wednesday, the second Wednesday of the month, I'm going to give you the market update on YouTube, on Instagram, and Facebook. Could be the same video, that's for another day, but I'm gonna give you the update. So now I'm consistent and I'm telling you every, when, every second Wednesday of the month, I'm making up the date. 
I'm going to have a video on YouTube, Facebook, and on Instagram. And maybe you're going to do short little snippets on TikTok and maybe Reels or even uh, YouTube Shorts or Pinterest. The goal is, is to get people to your pages. If you are someone that doesn't have any followers, we got to redirect. And you could do the same with email. And some of you know, just like with this video, I premiere it every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. And then after I premiere it, I send an e-blast out so the people that didn't come and watch, they can come and watch later. So kind of cool. If you're like, Carrie, you know, my I don't have deep pockets and I don't know how to get people there with direct mail. Now, I still believe everybody can send five pieces of mail a month, but that's just really on a serious budget. That was me back in the day. But you can also walk your neighborhoods and you can start sending email. Don't have anyone in your email? You can create a Google form, post that on social media and say, click here to make sure you get my art market updates via email. How cool is that? So those are my quick tips. If you really want to dominate on social media, you must comment on other people's posts and you really need to create video. And then my other, so if you just did those three things, comment on other people's posts, create video, you know, it could be five minutes or less and create short videos and then send it via direct mail or email and invite people back to come watch the video, you are more likely to grow your social media. So thanks for watching. Again, I am Carrie Little, the designated managing broker of Caremark Realty Group and the broker owner of Caremark Realty Group in Illinois and Florida. And I want you to engage with me. So if you have questions, type them in the feed. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. And if you want to join the agent journey, Keep watching, you know, we got Black Friday. And if you are new, keep watching for your first six weeks in real estate. Thanks for watching.